Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. You have already seen that we are posting one video per day. These videos are about different ultrasound cases. But we think that our work should be more elaborated. To enrich our theoretical program, we are adding some ultrasound lectures along with those regular ultrasound case videos. So get in touch with us. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing our YouTube channel and follow us on other social platforms. The necessary links will be given on the description box below as usual. So let's start. Today we are going to start with our ultrasound anomaly lecture series. You will get a playlist on our YouTube channel regarding imaging study congenital anomaly lectures. We'll choose random topics and try to post two to three lecture videos per week so that it will be beneficial for most of the beginners. Today we are going to start with fetal cholelithiasis. We are already familiar with adult cholelithiasis, but fetal cholelithiasis term may not be very common to most of the people. We can visualize fetal gallbladder on ultrasound. In fetal cholelithiasis, you will find ecogenic material within the gallbladder. It might be sludge or stone that is quite confusing in gestational age. We'll talk about that a little later. Fetal gallstone is seen around 1 in 300 pregnancies and it's more common in male fetus, though there are many controversies regarding these points. Commonly, we get fetal gallstone in third trimester and usually these stones get resolved within the first year of life. So don't be panic with these stones and just assure the patient that we will need some follow-up and hopefully it will get resolved after birth. There is no definite genetic association with fetal cholelithiasis. However, fetal and maternal hemolytic disease may be taken as consideration. Now let's talk a little about the normal fetal gallbladder. It will appear as an anechoic ovoid or teardrop shaped structure. Usually it is seen as an intrahepatic structure and becomes subhepatic in later gestational ages. It has got a thin hyperechogenic wall along with an echoic lumen. Usually we see the fetal gallbladder after 20 weeks of gestational age and it can be seen as early as at around 14 weeks. Let's check a normal gallbladder in real time. Here is the picture of the gallbladder within the liver. You can see a teardrop or ovoid anechoic structure with hyperechogenic thin wall. You can see the portal vein here. Also, this is the fetal right adrenal gland, spine casting posterior acoustic shadow, and you can see the stomach here. Now, let's talk about the fetal gallstone ultrasound features. We will see the gallbladder with ecogenic luminal material. It might be of homogeneous echos or focal ecogenic structures. It may cast or may not cast postreacoustic shadows, so keep it on your mind. If it is more than 2 or 3 mm, then it may cast postreacoustic shadow. You may also get cometal artifact from the cholesterol crystals. And if you put the color Doppler, then you will get the twinkling artifact. We have already said that it may be a little bit difficult to differentiate between slurs and stones in gestational age. However, if you put the color Doppler and get twinkling artifact, then it's quite confirmatory to say that these ecogenic structures are gallstones. The gallbladder size may be normal or contracted or even enlarged. Now let's check some ultrasound cases. These are collected cases from different sources. I will give the source links on the description box as well as at the end of the video. Now come to the first case. Here we can see a magnified image of the fetal abdomen showing the gallbladder lumen with multiple hyperechogenic structures within it. You can see the anechoic free part of the lumen. When we put the color Doppler ultrasound, we can see the twinkling artifact posted to these ecogenic materials indicating the structures are gallstones. Again, another picture of the gallbladder in longitudinal section showing the hyperechogenic luminal structure casting postreacoustic shadow. It's very difficult to say from this image whether there is a single stone or there are multiple tiny stones at a single point. On the right image, you can see the hyperechogenic material filled gallbladder lumen shows some cometal artifacts indicating the content as cholesterol crystals. Here is another picture of the gallbladder showing the hyperechogenic material filled gallbladder. Take a look at that gallbladder, there is no postreacoustic shadow, which may make you confused about whether there is gallstone or this is gallbladder slurs. We can confirm it with color Doppler for twinkling artifacts. Here is another picture with the linear transducer making a better resolution view. 
So there are some differential diagnoses of this case which we'll talk later. But a common case is the intrahepatic calcification. Now from this image you can see the hypoecogenic crescent line adjacent to this hyperecogenic stones. This linear crescentic line is a very important feature that excludes the chance of intrahepatic calcification. In intrahepatic calcification, you won't see this hypoecogenic crescent line at the margin of this ecogenic foci. Now, on color Doppler, on the right side, you can see the twinkling artifact from this hyperecogenic gallbladder material indicating as gallstones. Again, another case, you can see the gallbladder lumen here. We can see multiple hyperecogenic foci within the gallbladder lumen. Again, the gallbladder in longitudinal and transverse section and hyperecogenic materials are noted indicating gallstone. Next case, we can see the gallbladder lumen is filled with hyperecogenic material and no postraacoustic shadow is noted. The right image is of the same baby, but it is the postnatal scan done at the four days of age. And we can see on transabdominal ultrasound multiple hyperecogenic structures are noted within the gallbladder lumen, casting some cometal artifacts. So these are tiny gallbladder calculi, which may get resolved soon. Here another case you can see the hyperecogenic foci noted at the fetal gallbladder a no postraacoustic shadow is noted and these are gallbladder calculi again this patient got follow up scan at the postnatal period and at the 3 days of age the transverse and longitudinal section of the gallbladder by transabdominal ultrasound shows multiple ecogenic foci casting faint postraacoustic shadows indicating cholelithiasis most of these stones will get resolved within two to three months, so make sure to give a follow up again. Here again, another case showing the hyperecogenic foci within the fetal gallbladder lumen, and on color Doppler, you can see some twinkling artifact from these hyperecogenic structures indicating cholelithiasis. Another case, and you can see the hyperecogenic material filled gallbladder in transverse and longitudinal section of the fetal abdomen indicating cholelithiasis. Here is an interesting case I have got from a journal. These are the pictures of twin fetuses at 33 weeks of gestation. You can see both fetuses are having hyperecogenic stones within the gallbladder lumen. At the 7th postnatal day scan shows clear gallbladder lumen in one twin and another one shows hyperecogenic structures casting postraacoustic shadows within gallbladder lumen indicating cholelithiasis. Now, two common differential diagnoses of this case are interhepatic calcification and meconium peritonitis. In hepatic calcification, you can't see the hypoechoic crescent line adjacent to hyperechogenic foci. Usually, hepatic calcifications are from the maternal infection, like toxoplasmosis, cytomegalovirus infection, or varicella infection, or even from the interhepatic tumor calcifications. In case of meconium peritonitis, there will be calcifications on peritoneal surfaces and they might be from fetal bowel perforation or often accompanied with different findings like ascites, dilated or ecogenic bowel. We'll talk about these cases in our next videos. So don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for those videos. Now the take home message. Fetal gallstones may not cast any postraacoustic shadow. So if available, then use color Doppler ultrasound to see the twinkling artifact. Usually stones with more than 2 to 3 mm diameter will cast postraacoustic shadow, so keep it on your mind. Recommend a follow-up scan after the baby is born. We usually do an immediate post-delivery scan for confirmation and we'll give a follow-up after 6 and 12 months to ensure its resolution. So I'd like to thank these people who have contributed to this video. Thank you for sharing these cases with us. References are also available on the video description below. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about our next videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.